Bring me out the plastic. I've been acting brand new. Speaking of Kiki. Oh, let me not get to the baby daddy drama because yuck. Hello. Do you see the vibes? Do you see the vibes? I don't regret a single penny I spending on an espresso. Do you see the vibes? Yeah, yeah, do you see the vibes? <laughs> so if your man's beard doesn't connect, put him on the pill. Baby, Jemima has been shopping, okay? Good morning, Gems. It's your girl, Miss Jemima, and we are back at it again with another mother freaking vloggy vlog. <laughs> um whoo child the girl man working i've been working okay um i was like fidgeting all night and i didn't go to sleep till like four in the morning i had gotten out to eat like i don't it was a whole lot a whole lot of but then i had to get up at seven because i need to get back on my back on my grind okay back to productivity and um i was supposed to get up at six but child i wasn't making it so I got up at seven and took my little oxy shred mix and was doing great. Like, was not falling asleep while editing, not once. Like, I was shocked and appalled, honey. I finally had my first meal like around three. And now I feel like it's hitting right now. I don't know if it's the meal or if I'm just crashing. Because it's 4.30 now. And as soon as I sat in the car, I was like, dang, I need a nap. <laughs> I'm so tired, but I got so much done today. I'm so happy about it. And I'm about to go and take my passport pictures, photos, <laughs> um, because I need to submit them for visa application for somewhere that I'm going. Ah! I wanna make sure I'm doing it early so I can get it out the way. I don't have to worry about it because I feel like everything's delayed these days. So you don't know when you're getting your stuff done. So let me just go ahead and get it done now. And yeah, I stopped by Starbucks and I got another shaken espresso. This time I didn't get toasted vanilla nor caramel. I got brown sugar and she's cute. But I feel like brown sugar just doesn't have that pop that I look for in a drink. Like it's just, it's no like razzle dazzle. It's just like sweet, but I mean, it is brown sugar, right? But it is good. Um, I would probably get it again, but yeah, nothing tops toasted vanilla. Like just nothing tops it, you know? Mm. But I for sure needed to pick me up because the girl wasn't making it, but yeah. I'm about to head to Walgreens now to take these photos. Then we can be on our way. Why did I see these in Thigga Latia? <laughs> We're at Churro Ice Cream. It is hot outside, okay? Hot. Okay, so I picked up those churro Kit Kats. Um, I also picked up the skinny popcorn and twist of lime because I've never seen this flavor before. And I love things with lime. So I figured I might like this. We shall see. So we're good on the snacks. And now it's time to head to the casa. Even though they blocked this area off. Boo. I don't wanna do that. But anyways, yeah, so we won't say they hit in because like churros kick hat i don't know how i feel about that i said one time for the one time because that churros ice cream was good and i wouldn't even have tried it if a tea didn't put me on and the best churros i had was actually in dc at delinea i think the restaurant's called fire so if it's anything like that excellent day Excellent. Oh shoot, can I get out here? Oh, no I don't, cause I should've turned right there. Bye. <laughs> cause y'all not about to watch me be embarrassed like this. Like, for real. What am I doing? Bye. 
<laughs> Hello, gems. Don't ask me why I look the way I do right now. I don't have an answer. Um, I've been working hard for the past couple of days trying to catch up. Um, I just came here to say that I don't regret a single penny I spending on an espresso. Not a single penny. <sighs> so y'all know I've been on my espresso shaking whatever kick. Baby, I said today I just want a coffee, plain and simple. I don't want no extra blah, blah, blah. I just need to get some coffee, get back to work. So I'm trying to edit my vlog and I'm <sighs> wake up, okay? I popped this Starbucks Veranda Blend Espresso Virtuo capsule in this mother in this espresso. And it says toasted malt and baking chocolate notes. And then I put a little bit of this creamer, the white chocolate mocha. Oh, this coffee is motherfucking bussing. It's so good. I said, uh uh. Part two. part to me okay because the thing about it is that it only makes eight ounces which is like right here i said make me another cup okay fill it up and i'm sorry but i know i can use a frothing machine but it froths it for me like i don't need to do all that and one thing about jamima if there's a shortcut she's gonna take it when i say oh this is so freaking good oh my gosh this combo delish mm. it's so good it's so good i had to come and, 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 and talk my my shit real quick okay put y'all on don't say you never put y'all on okay i did my duty i did my job i put y'all on like this nespresso owes me nothing it could break down in a month I'm buying another one. I'm replacing it every two months. Are you kidding me? It's so good. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. I'm absolutely obsessed. So I spent most of the morning tidying up my beauty room um, to get ready to film. But I don't think I'm gonna film today because I kinda wanna keep tidying up. Whenever I have a, like a large influx of packages, for some reason my entire apartment goes to shit. <laughs> And that's what's been happening for the past couple of days. Um, I've been placing a lot of orders, okay? And I would say 70% is work. The 30 is all me. And usually it's not the case. Work is usually 95%. I might throw some Amazon packages, but baby, Jamima has been shopping, okay? Mm. it's so good but yeah let me get back to editing um so i can have this ready to go live tomorrow but um yeah Whew. i have some content for y'all and i'm hoping you guys enjoy it i'm ready to get back on my zoom and i mean that in live i can say i'm gonna get my life together in september i'm gonna ease my way into it starting now though okay we're just gonna go ham in september but we're gonna start now because it's like you know a break is cute but it's time to get back to reality back to reality back to reality baby i'm telling you that white chocolate mocha i get mine from walmart plus this starbucks veranda espresso capsule best coffee i ever made in my life hands down um but yeah so yeah i didn't start planning content because i feel like even the stuff i purchased for me not really for like work stuff y'all still gotta see it right y'all still gotta see it right yeah 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 okay let me get back to work and then when i'm done working i'm gonna come chop it up with y'all bye peace so the battery's about to die so really quickly dress is fashion nova shoes are bp tie-up shoes wearing my <laughs> why so bad um 
I wore Angel Share perfume. And I think that's it. Yeah, so oh my god, so I'm going out. <laughs> Lord, I'm going out and um yeah. <laughs> I finally got that vlog out and I was scared because there's a lot of music in that one too, but no copyright issues so far. So hopefully it'll stay that way. It will be good to go tomorrow. Tomorrow morning I have brunch plans, so like I, I don't have any time to do anything tomorrow except get dressed, okay? But yeah. Come along, y'all. We'll chop it up in the car. We gotta go right now. Bye! <laughs> Oh, I'm wearing the Kylie lipstick, by the way. Very light formula. Doesn't feel cakey at all. Feels like you're wearing nothing, almost. Just the teeniest bit. I don't, I don't even want to say drying. You just, I know it's there, but it's very slight. Very slight, so we'll see how she performs throughout the night. Okay, time to go. Bye! Bye! Okay. Shoes bag lights Ooh. oh forgot the red bull <laughs> stop playing i'm not gonna survive without it so my apologies because it's completely dark in the car and i don't want to drive with the light on um so sorry but I was reading the comments from my past DMV vlogs. <laughs> Y'all have been cracking me up. I'm so glad that you guys have been enjoying them, the vibes, etc., etc. Now, one of the biggest comments that I've been seeing is that, oh my God, like when you're back home, you did your dad, you're so much more this. And I was like, wow, I feel like this past trip, I really was more free to show a little more, do a little more. Um, but the reason I felt freer to show more is because I don't live there anymore. <laughs> and it's partly my fault. Actually, not say partly. It's 100% my fault. Because <laughs> one thing about me, I'm going to talk my shit, okay? I'm going to talk smack. I'm going to let you know the cons, honey. But um, don't get it twisted. Your girl is thoroughly enjoying living in ATL. Like, <laughs> I'm going to complain about the scams and expense of and valet. But I'm enjoying Atlanta. <laughs> um, yeah, so like me showing myself in different places and stuff, like I felt free enough to do that because these are not places that I'm frequenting often. Like I'm not as worried about safety as I am here. Like I wouldn't show that much of me in Atlanta unless I moved out of, why am I behind this car? Unless I moved out of Atlanta and didn't have to worry about my safety as much. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? as my girl Ruka says you know what I mean <laughs> but yeah and I feel kind of bad because I'm just like uh of course the vibes are always immaculate when I go home but also it's because I'm visiting as a visitor people you know tend to do more with their schedule to make sure they have time to see you if I was living at home that would not be the vibes so y'all like oh just move back home move back home no it would not be the same I love the energy as is I go home pretty often I think um not too much so that they get too used to it but enough so that it's like you know i'm not too missed you know it's a nice balance <laughs> but yeah um maryland is expensive af y'all like hella expensive and as of now i really don't see myself moving back home um every time i go home i consider it a little bit just to see like you know like maybe like next year in a couple years i move back home but every time i come i feel like i'm re I'm reconvinced that like I don't know if I'll ever move back home again because it's just ridiculous. It's not even about having the funds, honestly, but I I want bang for my buck. I want my money to stretch. And so it's like even if I'm paying an amount of money for an apartment here, I could be paying the same amount for an apartment in Maryland, but I'm getting so much less for my coins. And I don't like that. Just knowing that I can get more somewhere else will always be in the back of my mind. So as of right now, the only thing that'll make me move back home, honestly, is a man. My man, my man, my man. If my man wants to put me in a house, 
wants to put me in a penthouse street in Maryland, then do so. But until I find that man, yeah, dream is in the streets in every other state but Maryland, okay? It's just so expensive. Like, oh my God. And I'm just like, expensive for no reason, honey. Like, oh my God. And I just, I just, I don't like it. I don't like it and I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Adulting is too much. I didn't sign up for this. And I feel like the person responsible for me in this world should be the one that's handling all this. <laughs> but at the last, you know, but alas, I'm the one handling his, so. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it was so funny that I kept getting that comment. I'm just like, you know what? It's because I don't show y'all stuff and I feel bad about it, but you know, just safety stuff. I don't be giving all the vibes, but y'all understand. I hope y'all get enough of the vibes though to enjoy. That's the goal. I do enough that I can kiki with y'all and enjoy my sharing. And I hope that it's enough that y'all kiki back with me and enjoy what I have to share. Okay. But um, yeah, I would say that that was definitely one of the perks of vlogging back home is just being a little more free to, to show more of me. Come on, bars, be more free to show more of me. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that was actually one of the reasons why, well, no, I moved to Virginia because I had started a job that was in Virginia and I'm not a commuter. One thing about me, I will follow a job, baby. <laughs> I will follow a man, I will follow a job. <laughs> I will follow vibes, like, <laughs> Jamie's gonna pick up and go, okay? Listen, whatever makes life convenient for me, because one thing about it, I don't believe in being stuck, like, if you can always go back, unless you know your coins are not where it needs to be, then stay where you at, okay? 1,000% stay where you at. When I need to stay where I was at, I stayed. But if you have freedom, like it's not gonna be the end of the world for you to make a change, like go ahead and make the change, okay? Cause one thing about it, when I was moving to Atlanta, I said, yeah, it's gonna be new. I don't know people, I'm gonna be starting somewhere fresh. But if it fails, I can always just go back home. Literally, I can just always go back. Like, it's not the end of the world. It's gonna cost me a little bit. It's gonna be annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Like, go ahead and make that new experience. So that's kind of like my mindset as of late. Of course, stay in your lane, all right? Jimmy ain't telling you to go uh, make crazy decisions now, okay? They get through. <laughs> But at the end of the day, if it's not gonna be the end of the world and it's something that you wanna do, go ahead. Go ahead and do it, okay? That might be the one thing that changes your life. That one decision could change the entire trajectory of your life, okay? And if you see the trajectory is going negative, baby, turn right back around. Bust the UE, okay? <laughs> Bust the 180 and come back around. Cause you could do that. You grown and that's your business. You could do that, okay? Anyway, that's my piece. I don't want to keep talking out of the dark because what the heck? Maybe I'll put a cute little picture in my face or something on my body, yada, yada, so y'all can enjoy. Where y'all listen to my soothing, sultry voice. <laughs> I was editing my Miami vlog and the way I was screaming, I'm just like, this can't be the same voice that y'all say y'all enjoy listening to. This can't be the same voice that y'all say is soothing because maybe the monstrosity that is my vocal cords. <laughs> Lords. Anyways, y'all. Oh, child. Oh, all these roads. Oh, uh-uh. Okay, let me go. This roads is crazy. Baby. I need to fix these ASAP. And I'm pissed because I transferred my Red Bull to a solo cup and then left on the kitchen counter. Like, I did all that just to not have any Red Bull. Like, be for real. Be for real. lipstick she's faded around the inside i was drinking and i was smoking hookah um i ate some rice you know i ate it you know when you have music on you like <laughs> um but it's good it looks good i like how she fades 
she fades quite beautifully if i do say so myself she held up and now i need more shades i can't believe it the girls were not capping about the kind of lipstick now you guys know i swear about my maybelline liquid lipsticks so i'm gonna look for shades that i can't find in that collection um i probably shouldn't have started off with this one because i feel like i have something similar but when i'm starting off um on the collection to see how they work i tend to gravitate towards certain shades because they tend to perform the best because sometimes the super dark shades don't perform as well and the super light ones don't perform as well either so we will see but yeah i actually really like how she held up yeah azu 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 anyways azu need to wash my mind okay <laughs> It's just something about a fresh shower and cool on the head just hits every time. Oh, I didn't change my earrings yet. Ooh, I broke up my routine. I messed up my routine. I'm supposed to go to the room, take off all the jewelry and stuff, switch out my earrings to my house earrings, and then come here. What's going on? Come on, I'll be back. Okay, so fresh out the shower. And I've really been like heavy on a lazy girl skin routine. And I can tell. <laughs> I can definitely tell from how my skin looks because when I use these faithfully, faithfully, okay, the skin is on fleek. All right. I used these like once last week. And the texture that I was struggling with, I was remaining after my, um, after my allergic reaction, it definitely went away. It subsided tremendously. Okay, and that was after one use. Now, why did I keep using it? <laughs> Who knows, darling? Who knows? Like, naturally, my skin is just very textured. Um, but then there's, like, the way my skin is textured naturally, the way it looks when I'm using great products, and the way it looks I'm not taking care of my skin the way I should. There's three different levels of texture, okay? And I need to get back to how my skin looks textured when I'm using great products. So I'm getting back on my skincare zone because I need my skin to be flawless, okay? Like the makeup wasn't everything I wanted it to be, but it was the best that has been in a very long time. <laughs> in a very long time, okay? Um, yeah, so I waxed my chin real quick before, um, I got ready earlier, so I probably shouldn't be doing this right now, but we're already here. Man, that beard was flourishing, okay? I can tell y'all, if your man want tips, send him my way. Baby, won't you come my way? I got something I need to say. <laughs> If your beard don't connect, come my way. I got you. Two words, birth control, okay? I was on birth control for one month. The way these hairs sprouted and never left me. So if your man's beard doesn't connect, put him on the pill. <laughs> put that man on the pill, okay? That advice was free 99. Didn't cost you nothing but a subscription, a free subscription, a free membership. To the gym squad. Aka! Aka! <laughs> but yeah, so um, I'm trying to finish up the. I think this is the standard. Which ones are these? The Universal Daily Peel because I bought the extra strength ones because I'm ready to move up the ladder. But I still have, I think, like two cases of the Universal left. So I'm good until the next Sephora sale. <laughs> But I didn't buy any face cleansers. I thought I'd be good, but the one I have in this bathroom right now is already like running low. I need to go check my my stash to see if I have any extras. But I feel like I don't. I don't know how I missed that. But baby, I told y'all one way or another, I always end up back at Sephora. I hate that for me. 
Like, like I love it, but I hate it. But I love it. But I hate it. Ah, all right. Part two, baby. But no, seriously though, like the way my skin looks so youthful and just plump and luscious when I use this consistently, like I can tell a difference in my skin when I stop. But y'all know I'm gonna start and stop asshole in everything in life except work, okay? And they're great for travel. I just take a stack, throw them in my um, toiletry bag, good to go. I don't carry the full shebang when I travel, like all the extra serums and stuff that goes with it. I just do the pill pads, a basic moisturizing serum, and moisturizer, and I'm pretty good until I get back. But I really feel like the whole shebang gives you shebang. Okay, gonna let that dry. Why am I blowing air out as if it's supposed to come back and hit my face? Oh, that kind of worked. She didn't grow up. Y'all, it is five in the morning, like. Shake, shake, shake. Shake the devil off. Shake the haters off. Then I go in with the 15% vitamin C firm and bright serum. Put that all over. I tried using this alone too, and I prefer it when I layer on top of the pill pads. I feel like that's when it really like optimizes its performance. It's giving spa day. <laughs> Speaking of which, I really do need to find like a an esthetician. I just want to do a better job of taking care of my entire body because I kind of fell off. And I fell off little by little to the point where I wasn't really catching it. But yeah, I need to get back on the self-care in every way. Started with therapy and we're going to keep going. Next, I'm going in with the Dr. Dennis Gross. We already know what it is. <laughs> the vitamin C and lactic acid Zooey Zooey Deep Cream. I alternate between this and the Oil Free Radiant Moisturizer. If I actually use this during the day, I would use this, but I feel like this is really great for nighttime. So once this finishes, I don't think I'm gonna rebuy this. I'm just gonna keep getting this. I love a super moisturizing cream, y'all. Like, no matter how oily I get, slather me down with butters, okay? Like, if oils didn't make me break out, I was slapping my whole face in oils too. <laughs> but I just let me go to the body. But my face does not like any oil of any kind, okay? But what she does enjoy is a thick cream. <laughs> a thick cream. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Nice. Now, I also purchased the eye serum, which honestly, I feel like with that cream, I don't really need this. And once it finishes, I don't think I'm going to repurchase, but it's nice to have. So I just like to, you know, go below and above the eye. And any leftover, I use on the corners of my mouth. Because I feel like it'd be even crispy. It'd be even crispy. Okay. Top it off with some kind of balm or lip oil. I'm using the Ula Henriksen Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. I usually use this or the Dior lip oil. I just keep them both here. I also actually have quite a few lip masks here. I have the Tasha lip mask. I have NARS Orgasm lip mask. The lips gonna get something, one way or the other. Mm. And that is lace skincare routine. Now I'm off the bed. I will see y'all in three hours. <laughs> good night, good day, good morning. <sighs> Goodbye. Oh, damn. Oh, it's light outside. Oh. Imagine the dramatics. Just imagine it went dark.
Bah. Oh. Good morning, darlings. Um, where's my bag? I got an Amber Alert this morning, and honestly, I hate getting Amber Alerts. Like, they literally break my heart. <laughs> Like someone's out here taking kids. Like kids are going missing. Like the babies. Uh, so every time I get one, it's like my heart drops a little, and um, I'm a little. I don't want to say on edge, but I'm just like, ugh, you know, I Lord, please watch over this child. Um, but anyways, it grows up. I'm up at nine. Congratulations to me. Um, I had a few things to do with um, the video to prepare it to go live and we're all done now so I'm just waiting until oh it's 11 o'clock now <laughs> we're going to make it laugh um, yeah I was waiting until 11 o'clock um, but yeah I'm about to make a quick cuppa a cuppa <laughs> um, that coffee was so good yesterday I need to um, I need to run that back I need to run that back. But yeah, I'm about to get ready now to head to brunch. Um, Cause yeah, that's uh, actually, that shouldn't take too long. So I, I don't even know what I'm gonna wear. You guys are actually gonna see this outfit in my um, summer lookbook. If you guys haven't already seen it, be sure to go check it out. Assuming nothing has changed in it's the video before this. Fingers crossed, cause chat out. Never know. Never know. Oh, you guys remember when I bought the churros Kit Kat? <sighs> Y'all, this is why. <clears throat> things that, things be sounding good sometimes, and it don't really be good. But somehow I, I ate two. Baby, just don't give. Like it. <laughs> It's not good. Did I press start? Hold on. Did I press start? I don't think I did. There we go. It would taste like churros for real. Like, I don't even know what this taste is like. It's like when you first taste it, it's like, oh, like maybe this is white chocolate. For like a hint of a second and then it's like is this like popcorn or is it i don't know but both the snacks that i picked up from Walgreens, trash the churros kit kat not a fan and i also tried the <laughs> the skinny pop hint of lime popcorn how is a hint of lime but it's sweet <laughs> hold on the things I do for y'all. Well, see, that first bite wasn't the worst. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's just like sweet with a hint of like artificial lime and nothing else like it's so weird but like no <laughs> you know i just had hints of lime um on uh tostitos tortilla chips hints of lime on regular chips and i'm like oh, okay maybe something on popcorn no no it's not okay the coffee's ready I made an electrolyte and probiotic mix this morning. Oh, I should have my oxy shredder here. Mm. I'll drink it tomorrow. But um, yeah, while this cools down a bit, I'm gonna chug that and then hop in the shower to get the day started. Oh, hey Jimmy, but you still didn't make the video live. <laughs> And the way I get distracted, like, it's actually crazy. Hold on. <laughs> um, it's a Sunfest video in Miami. I'm a little scared, but we move. 
she's live. That's it. <laughs> Happy Sunday for me and all my zoes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so like I said, Starbucks Veranda Blend. This is the actual coffee one. And you can tell because it tells you like how many ounces it makes. Um, with this creamer, baby, it's my freaking combo. Eat. <laughs> Just gonna put a splash of that. Oh, man, I'm telling you, no regrets. This is so like, ugh. Oh. Am I foam girly now? Like, and it just makes the foam for me. I love that. Like, look at this delicious foam. Like, oh my God. It's so luxurious. <laughs> Listen, baby, if some things you don't want to buy for yourself, I get it. Some things are pricey. Whenever I had something that I knew I didn't want to invest in myself, either I didn't want to or I couldn't, baby, events, holidays, whatever the situation. Oh, what you want? I want an espresso. Yeah, it's, if it's expensive, everybody put together, okay? Yeah. One thing about it, <laughs> Jamima, oh, she don't give you a list. Oh, oh, what do you want for your internet? I got a list already. You want the list in PDF, uh, text, notes, uh, Google link, iCloud. <laughs> Lord. And speaking of which, um, I got a comment um, I don't get these too, too often, but enough I'm just like, mm, every once in a while I kind of want to address this, but I got a comment about asking, you know, um, you know, oh, like, oh, I see a lot of these, these channels and they're all about like, um, buying things and like getting dressed and, and all these different things. No one's talking about like family and all these important other topics. This is not the channel for that. <laughs> I'm, I'm very intentional about keeping my channel lighthearted um because everything that you say is then open to attack you know um and so once you start talking about family dynamics and you start talking about all these more important things that are close to the heart and people are then attacking you for that that's where i'm gonna log off forever <laughs> you know and so um i'm very intentional about keeping certain things to myself. Like I don't talk too, too much with my family. Um, most, I mean, honestly, y'all really don't see my family. Um, y'all see like a couple of friends, mainly friends that are like camera happy. <laughs> even though, even that I try to like downplay because um, if you're not gonna be nice to my friends, then now I have to fight you. Like, you know, <laughs> like you can't say, oh, you love me, but you hate my friend. Don't say nothing at all. Like, don't say nothing at all. Like, it's fine. And you will be surprised the power of silence. I know when people don't like something because nobody will say it, right? There will be no comments about this outfit. Let's say, let's say I do a haul with like 10 outfits. Most people will comment about the things that they like. So there's one outfit that nobody comments about. I know they like it. Either it wasn't that special or they didn't like it at all. Trust me, you don't have to say, I can't say that dress. You look ugly as hell. Wop the doo 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 wop. You have to say it. Maybe silence speaks, okay? Um, and so I'm very intentional about not touching certain topics because I'm got no spine. I'm got no 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 will. I don't I don't stand up. I sit down, okay? There's certain things I can't take. There's certain discussions I cannot have because I said what I said. I do what I do, and I live how I live, okay? It's not open to discussion. And so if it's not open to discussion, I'm just not gonna talk about it. All right. Um, and she wasn't malicious or anything like the comment wasn't malicious. Like I completely understand what she's saying. Um, because for me, as someone who grew up in a life where I, I went outside and I touched grass, like I know reality and I know social media and I know the two do not go hand in hand. I know that, but, um, for some people that is not the case. Real the social media is very much like how they perceive reality. And so I understand her concern, but, um, yeah from from the start from the conception of the channel it's very much been a consumerist capitalist uh maximalist we shop we buy we love to look good smell good all the things um and that's always been the basis of this channel so like the goal is never for you to watch any of my content and say oh she just hauled 10 outfits guess what i'm gonna buy all 10 
and you do that for every single haul or I show your product and every single thing I show you you feel like you have to get it that is never the intention the goal <laughs> the goal is to show you the things that I enjoy the things that I feel like enhance certain aspects of my life or maybe things that I feel like might enhance you or somebody else and if you feel like it resonates with you for you to consider adding it to your life not everything, but one or two things. If you feel like it'll do something for you, then you should go ahead and try it. Or if you want to replicate it and do something that's more your speed, then do that. Like if I show you a $300 bag, baby, one thing about it, Shein or, or Steve Matter or Marshall, somebody will have a dupe, a dupity doop doop doop. So it doesn't mean go and spend that money on that bag unless you want to. But if you want that vibe, you can find another alternative, you know? So it's, it's just vibes. And that's why I like that my videos have a more entertainment like key key chop it up aspect so that it's not always oh just shop 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 it's also like even if you want to shop even if you don't want to spend money even if you don't want to do this or that if my style is not your style i still want you to still enjoy the content like i want this to be a space where you're just like oh, i can kind of just like decompress forget about my problems chill in the moment and just chop it up with my girl like that right there is number Ooh, that number one or number two ah <sighs> No, we're going to say number two. I'll say my primary mission is to like uplift women that have been held down. Like, they be hating on the big girls. And like, let me not just say big girls because honestly, my content's for everybody. I just have to be big and that's my experience. All right. But they be hating on the kid. And one thing about it, it's just like people need to mind their business. Okay. People need to stop inflicting their views and thoughts of life and all that stuff onto you. Okay, and I want to encourage you to do you, okay? As long as you're doing you nicely. You're not hurting anyone. You're not bringing anyone down. Blase, blase. Do you, okay? So respectfully to that woman that left that comment. Um, yeah, I'm very intentional about that being my channel. But there are plenty, there are plenty of channels that do delve into deeper topics that will help to uplift you in different areas of your life. It's not here, but there are plenty of them out there. So if you're finding that you're seeing a lot of content that's similar to mine about um, fashion and spending money and going out to eat and all that stuff, it's because you're watching it. Now, I don't know if you don't like that, but the algorithm follows what you watch. So if you keep watching a certain type of content, they're going to keep promoting others that are like that. Um, so I would say, don't, don't leave me now, unless you want to. If this is not a safe space for you, 1000%, please do what is best for you. I promise you it is okay. You can come back whenever you want. The love will always be there. But if this channel is ever not a safe space for you, how you feel mentally, how you feel emotionally, listen, that is always priority, okay? One, figure out what, what the real root of that emotion is. And two, take some time to work on it. And that is just fine. We all have real ass emotions. We all feel things like jealousy, envy, 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 envy Jesus Christ. Envy, 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 girl. I'm screaming, um, feeling like we're less than like, those are natural emotions. To, for us to feel in general not even through social media but it's an everyday life you know at work with friends with family but once you see that emotion you feel it you need to tap into it and work on it so that it doesn't consume you okay i'm sorry my mom put it all wet <laughs> my mom all wet this coffee smell real good but the point being said is i understand the sentiments and honestly i would just search be just search what you're looking for uh family channels um relationship channels uh religion channels like anything that you need or any kind of content that you're looking for go ahead and search for it but sometimes you gotta be specific with your search <laughs> like when you're black like you kind of have to put in like let's say uh black relationship advice or something like that you know to kind of filter through if you're looking for something in particular for people that relate to you specifically or like hispanic or something or Asian, you know, do what you had to do for yourself, okay? Because no one's gonna care about you more than you, all right? On that note, I've been rapping long enough, child. I need to get ready. Mm. I should do iced coffee, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna do that because I want to finish this and doing hot and cold. I don't like that. Why is my mouth so moist this morning? Mm.
but yeah like i always i always say the root of this channel is very much consumerism like the the plus options that we have now was not what we had a couple years ago definitely not what we had a decade ago so every time i found something that was like semi cute and i'm like oh this is a possibility let me show you guys that's where it stemmed from or <laughs> y'all know my real roots for from my real real roots started with hair when i was on my hair care journey which is so funny because where my hair out now trick question you see these tresses you see this hair falling down my back put some respect on my edges yeah anyways um now I went to makeup because I just love makeup. And still to this day, I love makeup. Um, I'm not into it like I used to with the whole eyeshadow and the whole like looks and all that stuff. The liner, the lashes. Like uh, My makeup these days is real like lazy girl, but still glam. Yeah, lazy glam. <laughs> lazy glam. Um, and we kind of just moved into fashion. And I feel like these days we're, we're venturing more and more into lifestyle, you know? Because now that we have more options, I feel like people know a little more where to shop. So it's not as, like, necessary to pinpoint, okay, well, this this store has four things that you can pick from. You know, you guys kind of know, like, the places where you can kind of go look and shop from. So I like to show you some of my favorite pieces, but I feel like it's not as, like, as necessary as it was before. Um, but yeah, so right now it's maybe just vibes. We kicking it, we chopping it up. Period. <laughs> we kiki, 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 kiki. Speaking of kiki, oh, let me not get to baby daddy drama because yuck, very much so. Yuck.
light on cuz okay we're, we're adjusting okay I think we're okay anyways child I literally just walked in the door Ooh, yikes hold on just made a mess that's what happened when you leave a drink on the island <laughs> they put your bag of food down knock over that drink on the island that shouldn't have been on the island um literally just walked through the door and I'm about to eat my my tacos <laughs> Listen, I could have ate them at the restaurant, but then I would have been like super stuffed. So I just need a few minutes to digest, you know, and now I can eat it comfortably. Like, also we can talk about it because get into these oxtail birria tacos. Mm. Bring me out the plastic, I've been acting brand new. They're definitely better when they're hot and fresh. They definitely have cheese in them, but so far my stomach is chilling. Rip me out the plastic. I've been acting brand new. Okay. The little birria consume sauce, whatever. I just poured it on the tacos. For a fact, there's oxtail eggs, onions, cheese. But I remember the eggs, the cheesy eggs. It's just decadent. Like some of this is just rich. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Like danger, we didn't even take her clothes off. Like, and get him. Not a bone. Mmm. Not another bone. Mmm. Hey girl, are you breathing between bites? The food was good. All I tried was the um tacos. I ordered a second a second entree. It was just three tacos, like be for real, that's a snack. If you ever watch like the toddler meals on TikTok, like toddlers eat more than us. Ain't that crazy? All this body, we're eating three tacos and toddlers are throwing down like burgers and fries and carrots and broccoli and chicken and rice and beans and... <laughs> mm. Anyway, shout out. Mm. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's a fatty part of the oxtail. You can't even see the meat. That's just straight fat. That's why it's so delicious. I hate that for me. Straight to my my arteries. Mm-mm. I ain't ordering this no more. I will not order this anymore.
so I ordered these shades specifically so I could wear them with this outfit. And guess who forgot? Me. Um, I ordered another pair. Completely forgot about these. Tried on the other ones. It was like, oh no, that's not cute. Well, duh. <laughs> that's not the ones that you order for this outfit. But um, yeah, I ended up ripping off this um, the waist situation because <laughs> my waist is where it decides to be that day. Like not where you think it should be. Not where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Based on the bloatation of that day, that will determine where the waist may lie. Now, I was definitely team tie with this um, belt situation, but I think next time I'm gonna try a different belt. Oh my gosh, I was walking past and these ladies were like, oh my God, your dress is so cute. I'd be so hyped to be like, oh, it's cute walmart it was like 20 bucks like get you one and if i was by myself the way i would have put out a link so fast like get you one get you one because baby walmart it's gonna give you the gems every time i've been telling y'all like uh when the people that you love are the ones that are also sponsoring you like not tell you just match me to heaven because hello do you see the vibes do you see the vibes do you see the vibes yeah yeah, do you see the vibes? <laughs> Est-ce que tu vois les vibes? Est-ce que tu vois les vibes? <laughs> Et miras tu les vibes? <laughs> Jimmy must swear she's qualingual. Like, girl, you speak English and barely that. Girl, maybe. Like, I could have had a whole moment with these shades. Like, but no. You want to be forgetful per usual. That's fine though. I'll feature them for sure in the, in the lookbook, but which I haven't recorded yet. But now that you would know, because you saw it already, because you watched it already, right? Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah. Also, the shoes that I originally planned to wear with them, I can't find. <laughs> like. What? So I think I may have accidentally put it in storage with my boots because I want to wear my Sam Edelman um, platform heels. Hold on. Let me show it off because, oh my gosh. Let me tell y'all about how I'm loved. How I am loved, honey. I don't know who was looking out for me, who was saying prayers for me. But the way I have wanted these heels for so long, finally found one place that had one last pair on Zappos for them to lose my shoe and then for me to randomly stumble upon them because they restocked at Sam Edelman like a year later like can you believe it and I finally got my head because I was about to just bite down and get the Prada ones but I don't want the Prada ones I mean the Prada ones are cute but like why well, get Prada when I can get Sam Edelman like that's just great like why spend bang when I can spend buck okay and I was, I was just about to take the plunge and I saw these and I said, wait a minute, these are back ah, in my size. Y'all, I ordered these so fast. I'm pretty sure my head was spinning like I was dizzy. I was do, 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 ordered so fast. Like I could not believe it. I had them in my hands. Like I had to order my hands for them to lose it in shipping. I'm still in my silver phase. I am. I'm still in my chrome. I'm still adding more silver to my collection. But yeah, so basically I purchased the blue denim version of these and that's why I originally planned to wear with this outfit. Though the silver definitely would have been a vibe. Oh, nice. But um, yeah, I can't find them. So I think I actually put them in storage because the y'all when I tell you purge central, when I tell you declutter central, threw everything in storage so fast, like I don't think I double checked. And I'm pretty sure in the process I may have, <sighs> listen, the point is, I'm glad I still had those denim slides that I had from Nordstrom to feature for my TikTok. But um, yeah, girl, the plans I had in mind did not come to fruition, but it's still cute. Also, I ordered denim bags, bags as in plural, <laughs> because I'm testing them out. I'm not the biggest denim bag fan at all. I'm not going to lie. 
the only reason i haven't bothered is because i'd have denim heels now allegedly i still gotta make sure it's in storage because i don't know where they at oh my god but look at these babies like oh look at these babies like how are you not in love and i could have had these so long ago but y'all lost it somehow oh i don't know how I found out that these were back in stock, but I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful and I feel like, oh my God, like is there even a proper occasion for me to wear these? Also, why is there nothing underneath here? It's giving slip and slide to my death. Do you see how, how high these heels are? Like, why would y'all play me like, don't play me like this. I gotta scratch this up on cement or something before I take these out, cause, ooh, Chile. But yeah, so basically I have a blue denim version of this and that's what I was planning to wear this dress, but alas. Things did not work out that way, but that's fine. That is fine. It was so cute. It still gave the same vibes, so it worked out. And the denim bags that I wanted to test out, none of them arrived in time, so I decided to go ahead with a pale blue bag, which actually I feel like I prefer better than doing the matching denim shoe and denim bag situation, which is saying a lot for me because I'm a big fan of matching shoes and bag. Like, I will forever stand. A matching shoe and bag but i think changing up the texture and the tones of the blue with the bag and the shoe i like that so i feel like that with a touch of green on the shades to like bring out all the colors of the dress <sighs> like i'm not mad though i was cute i got some cute pictures overall the vibes were still there even though it wasn't the maximum it was still up there okay it's still up there so i'm, I'm still happy about that but yeah, for sure, I'm still in my sunglasses era. <laughs> and I'm still looking for that one pair that I've been looking for for months now. And I feel like it's in one of these bags. But I'm not about to sit here and go through every single bag. Also, do you guys remember I was searching for my camo um, coach bag? Guess what I found? <laughs> Girls underneath all the other bags on the back of the door. I looked it up a row. I said, let me just double check. Looked it up two rows. Boom, there she was. Hey, boo. That's Bay right here. Okay? Period. But yeah, so I told you guys I've been shopping for sunglasses. Okay? Because they amp up a look, especially because there's no variation with my hair. So it's hard for me to switch up the style and vibes of looks. Because, you know, hair is an accessory, makeup is an accessory, accessories are an accessory. But I figure, you know, you add some cute shades to a certain look. It's gonna do what I need to do. Now I wouldn't wear these with this look. But with the right look, ugh, like that all pink set from Walmart, yeah, that's why I got these. That's gonna eat. I don't care what nobody say, that is going to eat on a leg gram, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I got these in green, I think. I might get these in, in some more colors though, honestly, just because I feel like it gives vibes vibes Ooh, Timon, je suis chaud il est très chaud uh, Lord, come on. so overall i enjoyed my experience at the vault so essentially the name of the establishment is the bank okay oh i forgot to capture footage of the outside and like so it's a bank that they've essentially repurposed into like event space i'm gonna say i'm not exactly sure but i know that they have a restaurant area called the vault and the food was good from what i've tried um the espresso martini was really good when i think of espresso martini that's what i think of like coffee drink but also like creamer type of liquid and, and additives not just like coffee and like liquor I feel like the first time I had an espresso martini, that's how they made it, like similar to that. And that is what reminded me like, oh my God, I was so good to have whipped cream on top. It was gonna be a dessert drink, honestly. It was so good, it was delicious. I'll start that thing up, i mix it up, <laughs> toss it back. <laughs> it was so good. But um, yeah, at one point I ordered um, a second round of shots and the waitress was like oh like again like girl after a while she doubled back and she was like you know like i'm not trying to like you know say nothing like 
you you was judging number one you was judging number two the drinks took so long to come out yes i ordered the shots now because i know i'm not gonna get it for another 30 minutes ironically that was the one order that came out like five minutes after but i was like it takes so long for stuff to come out like yes go ahead and get the other round ready but i didn't like that i'm like what's going on what's going on with these waiters and waitresses like judging first of all man i'm running up this tab don't you get paid based on percentage should you be happy? Should you be encouraging? Oh, you want a drink? Okay, yeah, let's get. What you want? Casa Azul, Clase Azul. You should. You don't want your money? I want a good time. You don't want your money that come with it? I was like, oh, why would she just? Oh, girl. First of all, it's just two shots. Relax. Second of all, you see this big body. It's a lot of body to get that little bit of liquor through. I ever passed though, but like, why are you doing all that? Like for what? For who? For whom? I do not like that. Just take the order and keep it moving. Like, one way to want to judge me because I, I want two starters that both happen to come with chips, different kinds of chips at like that, and now you want to judge me because I want another round of shots. You act like I have four shots by myself. <laughs> Anyways, child. And then didn't even ring up the uh, the orders correct, but I was like, whatever. I'm gonna let y'all have this extra two dollars. You know, I really wanted to fight them on it, cause why you did not do this right? But I said, you know what? I got to go. I got to go. I'm gonna let y'all have it this one time, this one time. Cause one thing about me, it's about principle. It's not even about the money. It's about the principle. Like this is not correct. You're overcharging me. This is not correct. Because where you get that, that that item from? It was not on our table, not in my stomach. It didn't go through my mouth. Where did it come from? Why is it on my bill? Can you pay my bills? Can you pay my armor bills? Can you pay my telephone bills? If you did, then maybe we can chill, but I don't think you do. So me and you are through. Da -da 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 -da. Don't let the floral dress the dainty springtime classy brunch dress for you because your girl gets down okay not physically because once i'm down i'm down i ain't getting back up but your girl gets down theoretically okay so when i say bring that second round of shots bring that second round my boy bring that second round my boy because why you being weird to me why 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 tell him that it's human nature why why does he do me? did she do me that way oh anyway child i'm gonna get this dress off me oh i smell good though yeah that that combo was perfect for this outfit anyways let me go this is the end of the vlog. I ain't got nothing else for you. I ain't got nothing else to say. I'm gonna wash my face, take a shower, and call it a day. So I'm gonna see you on the next one. I know it's short, but it's sweet. You enjoyed it. We had a time. We kikied. We chopped it up. And um, yeah, I hope I hope I hope we'll still have a good time. You know, yeah. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next vlog. Toodles. <laughs> Cause why are you being weird to me? Ah.